holes. You don't want to fall into them, that's for sure. You've got to be careful where you stand. Falling into any hole is a bad thing to do. But the fact of the matter is, some holes are far more dangerous than others. These are the most dangerous holes on planet Earth. Number 20. Dean's Blue Hole Now, I don't know who this Dean guy is, but perhaps he should see a doctor about his big blue hole. Kinda sounds unpleasant for a guy to have. Anyways, apparently the term blue hole is actually what sinkholes are that are filled with water that have an entrance which is beneath the surface of the water. This particular one is located in a bay to the west of Clarence Town on Long Island, and it's a favorite spot for freedivers. In April of 2010, a professional diver named William Truebridge broke a freediving world record when he reached a depth of 302 feet without even the use of fins. Later in that same year, he went even further when he swam to a bends inducing depth of 331 feet on just a single breath without anything more than his hands and feet to propel himself. But these kinds of crazy activities and record attempts are not without their risks. It's part of the attraction for some, after all. So, when in 2013, a freediver named Nicholas Mavoli dove in the blue hole with an attempt to break the American record, he would sadly perish during his efforts. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. The Gates of Hell Back in 1971, the Soviet Union, in present-day Turkmenistan, had a drilling rig that stumbled upon the Gates of Hell. Or, at least, it goes something like that anyways. The drilling uncovered an underground cavern, and when that cavern collapsed, it formed a massive deep pit which measured more than 300 feet across. Not only were they now left with a gigantic hole, that big old hole was now leaking noxious gases. So they did what any good Soviet-era drilling rig team would do. They set it on fire and left it for a few days. Well, as it turns out, when they came back, that nasty hole was still on fire. In fact, many decades later, it still is. And so it would appear that the entrance to hell may indeed have been opened up and exists this very day in Central Asia. The trouble is that 40 years worth of open fossil fuel burning is less than ideal and also a massive waste of natural gas. It's also a bit of a bummer, but in terms of disruption, the location of this fiery pit in the middle of the desert is less problematic than some other long-burning blunders of history. At least it's not like the 1962 trash fire in Central Australia, Pennsylvania that accidentally caught a coal seam on fire and has been burning ever since, causing the whole place to be evacuated and abandoned due to all the poisonous carbon monoxide that spews out all the live long day. Number 18. Devil's Sinkhole Located near the city of Rock Springs in Edwards County, Texas, this somewhat scarily titled Devil's Sinkhole is actually a natural habitat for bats specifically the Mexican free-tailed bat, which lives there in huge numbers. The place can only be visited by booking in advance and would first be discovered by locals all the way back in 1876. It was eventually opened to the public in 1992, and this vertical natural bat habitat is actually a massive hole in the ground, carved out over a long period of time by water erosion. The opening to the Devil's Sinkhole measures 40 by 60 feet and has a deep, deep drop of 400 feet. And all that lovely sinkhole space is home to many millions of bats which can be seen emerging from the hole at sunset from April through to October. Number 17. The Kimberly Mine Known by many simply as the Big Hole, the Kimberley Mine in South Africa is an open pit and underground mine located in Kimberley, which is claimed to be the deepest hand excavated hole on the planet. But since no geniuses from Guinness have officially been there to confirm this with all their mad measuring skills, the claim remains disputed. 
This big hole has a storied history which, in and of itself, may account for some of the place's reputation as being extremely dangerous. It was once a diamond mine, and those places not only cause conflict or actually exploit it, they're also guilty of extremely dangerous working conditions which could turn deadly. Digging began in earnest in 1871, and within a year the number of men digging there had expanded to around 50,000. That's a whole lot of manpower if you want to dig a big old massive hole. Number 16. Lake Barisa. So straight out of the gate we've got a dreadfully dangerous hole with an intriguing name. The Morning Glory Spillway was originally part of a design within Lake Barisa, a reservoir in Northern California which was to funnel away water after large storms. The intention was that this would likely only happen very occasionally when extremely heavy rainfall filled the lake to its capacity. However, sometimes these things don't go entirely as planned, and the thing known locally as the Glory Hole <coughs> has been in use more often than expected as the lake has overspilled itself quite frequently. The local population say that it's actually all rather exciting when the lake gets filled up and is about to tip over the edge. Well, yes, that is rather exciting in general now, isn't it? And when it goes, it's crazy to see, like a huge plug hole draining. And at 72 feet wide and 246 feet long, this drain is most definitely a big one. What makes it dangerous, aside from the fact that it's of course a ruddy great big hole in the ground, is that it can sink water at a staggering 48,000 cubic feet per second. So this is a dangerous hole that could put a serious dampener on an afternoon's kayaking. Number 15. Cola Super Deep Borehole this particular hole is the very deepest man-made hole on all of planet Earth. This Russian hole is tucked away amongst the lakes and forests of the snowy landscape of the Kola Peninsula in the Arctic Circle. And what better place to have a big, massive hole than in an abandoned Soviet scientific research facility in the snow? As well as the obvious features of being a massive, deep hole, this particular place is so deep that people have begun to speculate about whether it might might just be the entrance to hell. Well, of course, in fact, some people are completely convinced that if you listen, you can hear the tortured souls of people in hell itself. It could be. The hole is an astonishing 40,230 feet deep, allegedly, and it apparently took the Soviets a good 20 years to drill down that far, and yet it's still only about a third of the way through the Earth's crust and still miles away from the mantle. The whole thing ceased to continue during the upheaval of the last days of the Soviet Union. Number 14. Berkeley Pit This former open pit copper mine is located in Butte, Montana, measuring one mile long by half a mile wide, and is 1,780 feet deep. The water here is heavily acidic, which means that there are lots of heavy metals and nasty chemicals that are present in the rock, which includes copper, arsenic, zinc, and sulfuric acid. These were the very things that made this particular hole so very dangerous in the first place. Those nasty metals and stuff were causing a health hazard, and in 1995, the hole would be listed as a reason for the death of an entire flock of migrating geese when they landed in the Berkeley pit and never left. <laughs> then again in 2016, several thousand snow geese met with the same fate as the result of their exposure to this toxic hole. This mine would be opened back up in 1955 and was operated by the Anaconda Copper Mining Company. It eventually closed in 1982, and at that point the water pumps would be turned off, and the massive hole at Berkeley Pit slowly began to fill with water, rising steadily at a rate of about a foot a month. It's since become a tourist destination, with the all-important gift shop, of course. Number 13. The Blue Hole, Red Sea. 
Located in Egypt on the coast of the Red Sea, the Blue Hole is also cheerfully known as the Diver's Cemetery. Oh, how very jolly indeed, and no doubt an enticement to divers everywhere. What is it about this particular hole that makes it so very deadly? Well, apparently there's a rock tunnel deep within, known as the Arch, that joins the hole to the Red Sea, and it's there that the light at the end of the tunnel makes the water so clear that it all appears much shorter than it really is. Unfortunately, this 85-foot-long tunnel also has a flowing current that makes it difficult to make progress through to the other side. This combination of factors is what makes it a death trap for even really experienced divers who have attempted to swim through it. For the less experienced diver, the slow progress and dangerous illusion spells almost certain death. As a result, this deep blue hole has the highest diver fatality rate amongst any hole in the world, with a total of 130 to 200 deaths in just the last few years alone. Ah, such a lovely accolade to have. Number 12. Chandbayori the Chanbayori Stepwell is located in a village in India and is one of the oldest of the region's stepwells and is considered to be one of the biggest in the whole entire world of deep holes. This massive square structure doesn't look like any old regular well. Rather, it's 13 stories deep with 3,500 narrow steps ranged in neat and perfect symmetry all the way to the bottom of the murky green watered well. It was built during the 9th century to provide the surrounding areas with a dependable drinking water supply, and obviously it's no longer in use, hence the gross green water at the bottom these days, but it did function effectively for centuries. The thousand-year-old construction is now a tourist destination with an adjoining temple as well for funsies. Number 11. Great Belize Blue Hole Oh, another big old deep blue hole. It seems to be an epidemic. This time, the Diver's Dream is located in Belize and offers a unique experience to divers who make it through alive. And that is no easy thing to do. There are numerous and elaborate ways in which this deep hole is trying to kill anyone who dares to venture inside. The three main causes of death amongst divers in this place are the lack of experience by the divers themselves, which can be a fatal way to get things wrong. Secondly, the clarity of the water creates all kinds of illusions, which can dis orient and confuse a diver. And thirdly, well, there are loads of sharks in there. So that's just a multitude of dangers and unpleasantnesses that wait anyone bold or daft enough to attempt it. But given the fact that this 125 meter deep hole has claimed so many lives, it's wondrous that anyone still attempts it at all. So unless you're an expert diver, this is one that you'd likely best avoid, if you want to not die that is. Number 10. Blue Holes Palau With so many blue holes out there to choose from, it helps to have a better sort of marketing plan than it'll kill you dead or stuffed full of sharks. So how about this? The Blue Holes of Palau is a large deep cavern with four separate holes in the reef that enter the cave. This is a place beloved by divers who come from across the world to this Pacific sanctuary to see the coral and leopard sharks amongst many other beautiful features. The trouble here is, and isn't there always at least a little bit of trouble, this fabulous deep hole is at risk of contamination from chemicals leaking into the water. Fortunately, this pollution was recognized by the government of Palau, and they've begun to take measures to mitigate the worst of it and prevent any future issues. They've started with such fun stuff as land use management and the addition of better filtration systems to prevent cross-contamination, so fingers crossed that this place will continue to be a beautiful if even dangerous hole for generations to come. Number 9. Ick Kill Yucatan, Mexico A series of natural wells in a hidden secret underwater world in Mexico. These beautiful places look a lot like circular swimming pools. However, they're actually known as sea notes and they're created through the natural wearing away of the limestone walls by the slow process of erosion by freshwater river systems. This place is super popular with scuba divers, and snorkelers, and so many fish. However, the whole thing is literally a death trap. 
Call me a safety nerd, but there are very few concessions to health and safety. The walkways are very slippery, so you could actually slide over and bust a hip or even knock your head on the rocks. But you'll be pleased to hear that the reception area is considered good, with many visitors noting that the toilets are clean. Unfortunately, they say the restaurant is so overpriced with slow service, but whether these are things that you require in a big blue hole or not, who can really say? Number 8. Bema Sinkhole, Oman now, according to local legend, this sinkhole in Oman was from a meteor falling in this spot, but according to the geology of the area, the sinkhole was created by the natural limestone erosion followed by the collapse of rocks around it which resulted in the sinkhole occurring. The sinkhole is also believed to be connected to the sea through an underground tunnel which is what gives the water its unique coloration. So is it really dangerous? Well, yes, if you add in the fact that this is a super popular destination for cliff jumping and at over 90 feet the risks can be many, which include, but are not limited to, dislocation of joints, tearing of skin, general jumping hazards like just getting the angle wrong, and of course the ever-present risk of a premature death at the hands of stupidity, poor judgment, or bad luck. The whole place is a popular tourist spot, so it's not always necessary to get involved in the more risky aspect of the many pleasures of this hole. For the less experienced, or those looking for a mellow experience, a swim in the beautiful turquoise water or a picnic at the edge are both fully acceptable activities. Number 7. Montezuma Well, Arizona this natural limestone sinkhole is located near the town of Lake Montezuma in Arizona, which has one and a half million gallons of water emerge from an underground spring into it every day. The water is not a tasty sort of beverage though, and this is where the danger of this hole lies. The spring water is highly carbonated, not a massive problem if you like that sort of thing, but all the arsenic in it might be more of an issue. The combination of these two things in the water makes for a less than hospitable environment for wildlife. No fish actually live in the fizzy waters of the sinkhole, but some other types of aquatic life have managed to adapt and develop in these weird waters, despite the arsenic and carbonation issues. Those that have adapted also provide food for various birds which feed on them and are seemingly unperturbed by the water's oddities. And the one thing that seems to thrive, which defies all comprehension, is an invasive species of Illinois pondweed, which is able to grow with such wild abandon that it actually has to be cleared out every week. That's a lot of work for a toxic puddle. Number 6. Guatemala Sinkhole Unlike the other sinkholes on our list so far, this is not a beautiful blue hole that was created by nature. No, it's a big, gaping eyesore in the middle of a city that was caused by human behavior and not natural phenomenon. This massive hole is in the middle of Guatemala City. Measuring 60 feet wide and 300 foot deep, it opened up in the aftermath of a deluge that followed the tropical storm Agatha back in 2010. But although that was the final straw that opened up the ground, all the human activity prior to the storm is what actually created the perfect conditions for the huge hole to appear. The city's underground infrastructure is most likely to blame for the thorough way that the hole collapsed, and the natural pumice that makes up the first few hundred meters of the ground in this volcanic area is loose and hasn't hardened into solid rock. So it's a prime candidate for movement and collapse, especially when combined with the digging, pipe laying, and foundation building that cities create underground. All the conditions for a sinkhole creation were in place when the flood of excess rainwater finished off the job, and boom, the big hole would appear. Number 5. Lok Nagar Crater during the First World War on the first day of the Battle of the Somme, July 1, 1916, there were 100,000 casualties between both sides and huge numbers of shells would be detonated throughout the vicious battle. It was a catastrophic day for all who were involved. This would be the day which the most dramatic and lasting landmark of the battle was permanently etched into its landscape, the Loch Nagar Mine Crater. 
This enormous gaping chasm is the result of a massive explosion that occurred right at the beginning of the battle in the early morning that first day. The reason this crater was so very enormous was the result of underground warfare. The setting and blowing of mines beneath enemy positions in the attempt to destroy a large section of their defenses. There will soon be craters blown into the battlefield all across the Western Front, and they still exist in many places today, grown over with grass and resting serenely in the landscape, but a solemn reminder of the carnage that took place over a century before. The Lochnagar Crater was caused by the biggest explosion after a huge quantity of explosives was set beneath the ground. The earth column that shot up as it detonated reached heights of over 4,000 feet into the air. Kaboom! Number 4. Dead Sea Holes The Dead Sea is famous for being super duper salty, mineral rich, and has been enjoyed throughout time by visitors and health enthusiasts along its shores. Sitting between Israel, Palestine, and Jordan, the Dead Sea is best known for its 34% salinity, which makes it 10 times as salty as the ocean and almost as salty as my pet guinea pig Twinkle when she runs out of green beans. It also rests at 1,047 feet below sea level, giving it the lowest elevation on Earth. But unfortunately, over the last few decades, there have been a gradual shrinking of the sea. In fact, it's been receding by about three feet per year. The waters from the Jordan River, which feed into the Dead Sea, have been diverted, and that, combined with mineral mining from the waters of the sea, have resulted in the diminished waters, and the shrinking sea may well be the cause of the otherwise unexplainable holes that have been suddenly busting open all along the shores. It's no doubt rather alarming and is causing some worry for the tourist industry and the safety of visitors themselves in general. It is enough to put you right off your ice cream and sunbathing efforts if huge holes just keep opening up around you while you're lounging on your chair at the beach. Number 3. Udaknaya Pipe the name of this big hole literally means lucky pipe in Russian, and when it was discovered back in 1955, it was no doubt a lucky day. This diamond deposit is located in Russia, and the open pit mine is currently controlled by the Russian diamond company Alrosa, which is currently in the process of swiping to underground mining instead of open pit mining. But that is actually the very technique that's resulted in this being a really big hole in the first place. The mine itself is believed to contain an estimated reserve of 225.8 million carats of diamonds and has a current production capacity of around 10.4 million carats annually. So this massive dangerous hole is also worth a whole ton of money. In fact, between 1957 and 2001, the mining of this place produced a staggering $17 billion worth of diamonds. Number 2. Samisen Hole, Thailand now here we are again back in the underwater caves that divers with minimal experience seem to keep leaping into in a fit of madness and then coming up again afterwards all dead. Seriously though, don't try this at home. These people are really risking it all to poke around in holes that are probably none of their gosh darn business in the first place. This hole in Thailand descends straight down for hundreds of feet before opening up into a series of narrow underwater caves which are more or less completely dark, making for a super dangerous and risky dive even for the most experienced of scuba divers. This place is known for being the most dangerous diving spot in all of Thailand and in a country where safety standards are rarely even acknowledged to begin with, let alone adhered to, that's really saying something. In fact, the risk of descending into complete darkness is enough for most divers to say mm, no thanks, and even the most enthusiastic amongst them basically don't recommend this place for anyone except perhaps the people they really hate. This spot is considered so dangerous in fact that many divers simply won't even entertain the idea of diving there at all. It's one big scary deep hole with all manner of dangers of death just beneath the surface. Number 1. Eagle's Nest Sinkhole the Eagle's Nest sinkhole is in a wildlife management area in west central Florida and has swallowed many of an experienced divers hole and does so with impunity. 
The thing with this dangerous hole is that it looks like an ordinary sort of pond from the surface, but below lurks the dangerous darkness of the sink-shaped hole with a long dangerous drain that goes into a system of passages and tunnels reaching up to 300 feet in depth. It's actually said to be a really beautiful place to dive, although for the most part, very few people actually go down there, and most probably shouldn't anyways. Cave diving is a notoriously dangerous sport, but there are just some places that seem to be hell-bent on drowning as many divers as possible, and this Floridian mega hole is one such place. Eagle's Nest has claimed about 10 divers in recent decades, so many in fact that people have called on the sheriff's department to intervene and close the cave altogether for diving so as to try to prevent any further tragedies. What is it about some places that just make them more dangerous than others? Well, in the case of the Eagle's Nest, it would seem that the sheer depth of the place makes it trickier because you just have less time if you were to encounter an issue. Beyond that, all the problems seem to be primarily related to the diving equipment that you're using and the precautions that are taken ahead of time. However, luck, both good and bad, always plays some part in the extreme and dangerous sport of cave diving. There's nothing like a dangerous hole or 20 to get your imagination going now, is there? What did you think about this list of risky holes to go poking around in? And do you fancy nosing about in any of these deep dark places? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Also be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.